Hey guys, welcome to Choose Your Own Path. We got a little helper today. We got my daughter Jaden. So today, show them what she's doing. She scuffed up the dragonfly, which will go on. Oh, wait, wait, we're gonna put it. We didn't want to carve him because he was too much. It's just too too thin to carve. So we're gonna put him out here, but we're gonna paint him. So she's gonna do the first part. Then I started with the burning process, and we'll continue going all the way down. Then we're gonna begin to the painting. So I'm making faces. So she's gonna paint up her part of it. We don't need too much of it on it. Don't don't cake it. We're just gonna paint up our butterfly and then we're gonna put him some colors. She's gonna do the coloring. She scuffed it up so that it uh is that how you paint? Mm -hmm. Wow. You're a painter, aren't you? She's a painter. Okay, so she's going to finish that up, and then we're going to let it dry. And then when it's done, we're going to add some colors to it. And then the same time she's doing this, we are going to start burning our fish. So maybe we'll put you in the comfy chair, because the cat doesn't isn't there. Okay, right there. I'll have you in. So what I did was I started with the scaling. I, I basically I did it off camera. Um... Stop sticking your tongue out. <laughs> so we ended up just putting in the lines where everything was. Got the fins and all that done. So what we have is, this is considered to be a fish scaling um, tip. It's rounded. So all we do with this is we turn it on and then we're going to keep on going all the way through. So we will have you watching us do that takes only a couple of seconds to um, to heat up is that do all in the back do the bottom the back do everything it's sweet mm. so all we're gonna do is it you touch it and there you go so we're randomly gonna be putting them everywhere so I couldn't get the shop kitty to do it so I got my daughter to come and do that I think the shop kitty would have done a better job eh <laughs> She's like, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. So, Jaden is 12 years old. You had Missy out here. Missy was out here. Yes, she was. Jaden is 12 years old, and she loves to do stuff. She loves to do crafts, and she loves to bake. And she's always trying to get me to bake her a cake with her, and blah, blah, blah. And I just don't like baking cakes. So, because I burn them all the time. So maybe later on we may do one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, because I know I'm really good at making She's cakes. She's really good at baking cakes. That's what she says. We I also have the other boys, but they're at work. And again, my wife's at work. So this is what we do when everybody's gone is we just do arts. On a Saturday. Yeah, on a Saturday. Okay, there's no school. No, no school. And you have no work. And what grade are you in? Eighth grade. I, knew I that. almost said seventh again. Again. Because last year. You were in seven? I was in seventh grade. There you go. And then this year, my mom was like, my teacher, she's like, what grade are you in? I'm like, I'm, like, I'm in seventh grade. She's like, what? You're in seventh grade? I'm like, oh, wait, no, I'm in eighth grade. Sorry. Yeah, so. <laughs> you're not too slick while you. I'm not very fast at that, am I? No. You kind of caught that. We need. To, sometimes you have to tighten these guys up. If you get the fix pens, they work a lot better. They're a little bit more expensive. You get them at Razor Tip. It's a great place to get them. Um, I just I buy these from Lee Valley, and I actually bend these myself. All it is is just a wire that they give you, and uh, you could bend it in, and it's. The same equivalent of a fish. Now the problem, the hardest part is to get under. Obviously, we can't get too well under here without the one under. So I usually just kind of bend them under it. It just it's easier for me. And then so we're gonna keep on going all the way through. And again, guys, this is very simple. All we're doing is a random pattern of scaling. And then when we're done with this, 
some undercut it with um, with another tip. I'm not gonna do that. This is I like it like this. Well, I've never done a fish before like this, but I think it's okay like this. What do you think, Jaden? I like it. She likes it. See, that's good. So we're just going to, and you can make them random. Eh? You can make them like really long, just like so, or you could just make them little small ones. You know, it's up to you. I mean, a fish is a fish, right? Am I correct, Jane? Hmm. Maybe. Not really. No. So we will get this done. And then we will come back to you guys, okay? Alright guys, so we're on the stage of painting. So what we did was we taped it up. Because we don't want our colors to get onto the wood. We're going to start off with a white coat, a white base. Because we know that the belly of our fish will be white. We're going to get as much white as we can. So we'll get it into there as white. We changed out our needle on our brush. Now, the needle that was was on in this in this a best brush was um, was bent. Now, either I bent it or the gentleman who sold it to me bent it, which is fine because it happens. We'll just either have to purchase a new one or we'll straighten it out. It's not that hard. So all we want to do is we want to get we want to get most of the belly color white. And we're just going to touch up the rest of the the fish. Now, this would be like be a trout, guys. Or, or a small pickle, that's what we call them. Lightly missed our green on there. Keeping it to where, like where these scales are. And if you get some splatter like that, just kind of wipe it down. Test out your brush, you could have what they call tip dry. And it'll splatter everywhere. And get back into the green. And if you don't find enough flow coming out, this is what this that little red button is for. A little little button. Little button's for. Yeah, so we're just going to finish off with whatever we have left, which is none. And we're going to let it sit and dry. 
and then we're going to take the tape off and we're going to work on the wood. All right. So all right, guys. So we switched to some brown, and we're going to bring you along a ride here. Got the car in the, in the garage because it's late. It's almost 10 o'clock, so we're just going to go with putting the brown on the log. We're going to just color that in. Blue. We're gonna go to we're gonna go through the water part, try to get him through water, and then he's jumping out at the dragonfly. Alright guys, so we're gonna work on our water for our fish. So just add some blue. Alright, so I went to a different blue. It may not seem different, but it is. Also, we have our dragonfly that I told you guys I was not going to carve because I just have a hard time with them. So this is actually a little plastic one that hooks that has a little nail in it. And what you do is you put it on your wall. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to cheat a little bit. Just gonna add a little bit of juicer. A little bit of a mix up. Okay, guys, so we're gonna change into our um, our Indian ink red violet. We're gonna add some to our butterfly. I really like this color. It's really neat. It, it has. Uh, it's easy to work with. Get a little splatter here and there, but that's okay because there's a lot of air going through here. I think. Now we're just gonna let it. <clears throat> we're gonna let it dry for a bit. We want to add maybe some yellow, but I think adding too many wet layers uh, may not be the way to go. Well, we know that not not to do that. But it's getting there, guys, so we'll continue. All right, guys. So, we're done. We are done. There's my dragonfly. And there's my fish. And it is green. It just, with airbrush, it looks different, but it is very green. It's a green back. So, you see how I did, how I did that with some white under it. So, either you could hook it up like this or like this. This is going to my oldest brother. And he just ordered another one for his best friend. So that is awesome. That's how it works, eh, guys? So I hope you enjoyed the video. I would like everybody to just, just give me a comment. Tell me what they think of it. Like, subscribe, share it up. Let's get some more people out there looking at it. And uh, you guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.